In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do numerical integration using a Casio ClassWiz calculator. And we're going to do three examples that show off all of the things that you need to know to be able to do integration accurately. And so we'll start with one example. We're going to find the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared dx. And you should note that this calculator can only do definite integrals. It can do indefinite integration and give you an answer symbolically in terms of x. It can only evaluate it in numbers. So let's look at how you input this into the calculator. So you've got a button here at the top just underneath the menu, and that lets you put in the integral. Then we need to put in all of the values. So we start in here and we can use the x at the side. You don't want to use the alpha and then x, that's a waste of time. Just use the x here and then we want a squared. If you press the across arrow, then you can put in the limit. So we've got zero and then we've got one and then press equals and that will calculate it. Very simple. And that is of course the correct answer. For a second example, we're gonna look at a trig integral. And to be able to do this, you have to pay a lot of attention. So we're doing the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of sine x. And that pi over 2 is telling us that we're working in radians. And so we need to make sure that the calculator is in radians. So whenever you're doing trig integrals, check to see if you expect degrees or radians. So we've got it in degrees here. To change to radians, you press shift and then set up. And then you've got angle unit here. So choose option 2. And then option 2 again will give you radians. It's now got an R at the top, so you're in radians, so you're in the right mode to do that integral. So we're going to do integration. We're going to enter sine and pay attention to the brackets. We're going to put an X in there and then go across and across again. So we're going to go zero. And then here we are going to input so shift pi over two and then equals. And that gives you your integral. So that's how you do a trig integral. For the third example, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at an example where it actually crosses the x-axis. So we're doing the integral between minus 2 and 1 of x cubed. And you've got to be very careful with this. And you can see that I've plotted it on a graph that this, if you put it into the calculator, will immediately give you the wrong answer. So if we just do it the wrong way first, so we do x and then cubed. And we go, say, um, minus 2 up to 1. This will give you an answer of minus 15 over 4. And that's supposed to be the area of the, the graph between the x-axis and the line. And, well, obviously, an area can't be negative. So this is giving you the wrong answer. So this is where you have to pay attention. So to do this correctly, we need to look at the graph. And I've plotted the graph here. And you can see that it's crossing the axis... And therefore, we need to split it up. So from minus 2 to 0, we'll get a negative area. And then from 0 to 1, it'll be a positive area. So what we need to do is split it up. So we're going to do the integral from minus 2 to 0. And we need to take the absolute value of that. So we have to make that be positive. So we get a positive area. And then we have to add on the remaining integral. So I'll show you how you can enter this accurately. So you're going to press shift and then ABS. That'll give you the absolute value. Make sure it's positive. Then you want to do the integral. And we're doing the integral of x cubed. And we need to go across and we're going from minus 2 to 0. And then we have to keep going and then plus, And we can put another integral in. And we can do x cubed. And then we can enter our limits from 0 up to 1, press equals, we get 17 over 4, which is 4.25, and that is the correct answer. So hopefully these three examples have shown you how you can do numerical integration on a Casio ClassWiz calculator. If this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.